This is Thunderbird Entertainment Television. And now, after just over seven months, stand by for the season six premiere of Castle Rock Entertainment logo bloopers. Today's episode is episode 43, and the title of the episode is, The Long-Awaited Return. Wow. I can't believe we're finally back after several months. Me neither, Sam. The creator of this video short has been busy for a long time. I have to agree with you too. I surely missed being in this studio for a long time. Well, is everyone ready to start the new season? We're all ready to go. I mean, we've been waiting to start a new season for a very long time. All right, then. Now, under suggestion from Andrew, we will be using the 1989 Castle Rock Entertainment logo for this season. So, let's get this show on the road. Roll the camera. Cue that bright light from the lighthouse. Castle Stone Entertainment presents A Granite Production Of a Quartz Film I'm Clockwork, and you're Quartz. Marillion, 2001. Mm. WXXI. That's the PBS station serving the Rochester, New York area. Rochester. That's not far from my hometown of Boston. Spike from 2005? I didn't even know they existed back then. Welcome aboard, Sunny Flare. And yes, they did exist in 2005. Before they changed their name to the Paramount Network in 2018. Simon? Is that you? Yes, it's me. You guys thought I was abducted by aliens, but that story was a hoax. I was having a great time with Susan and Allison over in Cuba. I missed you guys. We've missed you too. Simon, we were so worried about you. I agree. I was so worried about you, Allison and Susan, but thank goodness you are still alive. company that became Disney XD, but was originally called Toon Disney. Oh yes, those were the days as a young teen. I know the feeling, kitty. Oh yeah, fun fact, did you know that there was a Jetix monster truck for Monster Jam? Now that's what I call a monster fact. Ruffle, 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 ruffle. Ouch. Stop crotch kicking me, you shithead. Ow. Then quit stealing my laugh line, you asswipe. And stop claiming that laugh line to be yours when it is really in the public domain. Sheesh. Just a sheesh. Castle River Entertainment presents A Fortress Lake Production. Since when do they put fortresses in lakes? Fortresses in lakes? <laughs> 
What's the PBSP head doing here? Huh? What do you mean? This is a Castle Rock Entertainment logo blooper video we're doing, P head. I thought the surroundings looked different. Don't worry, P head. We all make mistakes in our lives. Just like those mistakes you made when you wrongfully fired me. Don't give him any ideas, Scotty. Next blooper! LW? What the heck is that supposed to mean? Lex, that's London Weekend. It was the ITV Network franchise holder for Greater London and at home counties at weekends. And it gave us those classic British shows such as It'll Be Alright on the Night. We have ways of making you laugh, and uh, now, honestly. Oh man, those were the days. They sure were, Michael. They advertise in British cinemas that aren't a part of Cinema World, Odeon, or Voot. I'm sure glad you mentioned you, Rhonda, because that is the next logo that's coming up. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Warning, there is a massive bass drop somewhere in this next logo. If your subwoofer is not able to handle the epicness, please skip this part. Nah, just kidding, it's only the end part. Phew. Thank God. I feared that the crazy bass drop in that logo would blow my ears off. Yeah, there's a reason why I did that, and that is because a lot of people watching this video may complain about their speakers being damaged from the loud bass drop that occurs midway through that logo. I see. But you know what this means, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sam, calm down. We don't want you acting like a control freak again. Remember what happened two episodes ago? If I can recall correctly, Sam fired Scotty again, went out of his mind about his rank, and had to be calmed down by Anna and Zira. And Sam, remember your role. You can't fire Scotty without our approval. Yes, sir. Housewipe. ABC Circle Films. Owned by the American Broadcasting Company. It ran from 1970 to 1989. And it gave us the ABC Weekend Special that aired on Saturday mornings. Correct. That's still in them, Andrew. Sounds like we're brewing up another power struggle in this studio. Stay out of this, all of you. Sam, don't even think about firing Scotty. You don't outrank us. They are right, Sam. Remember, you're not the one in charge to make the decisions. Remain. Come. Uh, oh. Tantrum in five, four, three. Two, one. No, 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 damn, 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 crappity, crappity, crap, crap, I that it was always being outranked every time I go to fire Scotty. I say this is mutiny, you hear me, mutiny, 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 mutiny. Are you all right, Sam? Just a bit shaken, Sierra, but I'm good. Man, it sure feels great to have one of those tantrums every once in a while. Agreed, Sam. But just remember not to become a control freak again. I agree on that as well, but where are Ron and Steven? We're over here, Scotty. 
Sounds a little, little bigger than his mind for finding me in the ground with his tank truck. Don't worry, Steven. I'm used to this happening to me. Let's just get out of my out here. Later, after Steven and Rhonda dug their way out of the ground, and Sam apologized to Scotty. Pony Canyon. Is that anything related to the Grand Canyon? No, it is a Japanese anime, video and game distributor. Formed in 1987 from the merger of Pony Records and Canyon Records, both of which were part of Fuji Sankei Communications. This logo is very trippy and weird. It almost feels like a logo trip. Logo trip? <laughs> Everest Entertainment. I didn't know they had entertainment on the top of Mount Everest. Not rim shot, weeping trombone. Now content! Sheesh. Just a sheesh! You can be sure if it's Westinghouse. Westinghouse. Can we really be sure if it's Westinghouse? Maybe it's General Electric. Or maybe Samson. It even might be Whirlpool. What's up with the commercial plugs again? Watch it, Sam. You don't buy the ad time, you sell it. I know, Miguel. But if Scotty brings in one more commercial plug in here, then he's getting punished. What the hell? I thought Sam is cured. Why is he acting like a control freak again? I believe Sam's going into another relapse, Andrew. But remember your rank, Sam. Sorry about that. I just keep thinking that I should be the boss in the studio. Just be cool, Sam. If you want, I can help you rid yourself of those thoughts. Sounds like a good idea, Zira. Zira took Sam into her mental therapy office for treatment of Sam's old mental thoughts. The bloopers continue without them. Well, since Sam is gone, I will be the director for now. Good idea, Andrew. I'm sure you can handle pretty well as director. Places everyone. Roll camera. Cue the lighthouse. Fox Video, from 1993. This version, with a 1979 20th century Fox fanfare, was mainly used on cow releases, including some UK rental VHS releases. Paramount Pictures. That fanfare definitely sounds paramount, if you ask me. Um, Scotty? Yeah, Andrew? Why the hell is the Paramount logo from 2013 doing in this logo? We're not doing Paramount logo bloopers. Sorry, I thought we were on another channel for a second. Walt Disney Pictures. 
used, in this case, on the movie adaptions of Inspector Gadget. Speaking of Walt Disney, I think you'll find this next one nostalgic as well. Oh god, no. No. No! Get that Disney Sea Beats menu out of here! Ah! Judas Priest. Andrew H is freaking out. Sorry, Andrew. I had no idea that you would be spooked by a nostalgic sneak peeks menu. Scotty, you don't understand. I used to be scared of that damn thing when I was a kid. Now get that out of here! Yes, sir. I'll activate the explosion at once. Phew. Thank God that's over with. Now let's continue on with the logo. Golden Book Video. They were responsible for bringing storybooks to life. Al, oh, yes. Long before I obtained the magical powers, I used to read storybooks all the time. How do you know all this stuff, ever for? Actually, this never happened. I've had powers all my life. I'm just making the stuff up so that the audience can become interested with me. Well done, Ever4. You just had to break the fourth wall. That's what you get for being such a yokai asshole. Excuse me? You dare to call me a yokai asshole? That does it. Take this. And the next time you call me a yokai asshole, I will use the powerful beam from my staff to hurt you. You understand? Looks like Ever4 is slipping into Sam's mental habits. I agree. New Line Cinema. She would never scare anybody with such a scary logo like that. Looks like I'll have to take care of the scary logo myself. You back off, big on, or both you and Larry will get it. That's enough from you, you evilest of evil. Take that. Phew. Thank God that creepy logo is gone now. Just remember, I don't like being called names. Otherwise, I resort to drastic measures. In all the chaos, I received a call from Zira. Sam's doing fine, but he'll need a few more sessions with her before he can return to the studio. Well, that's some good news to hear. You know, it's getting closer to shutting down time. Shall we go for one more attempt? I'm ready to give it one more shot. Uh oh. Me thinks I goofed. I should not have accidentally reversed the entire logo like that. You think's right, Scotty, but at least give yourself some credit for putting some effort into these takes. Another attempt, and we failed once again. Oh well, we can try again next time. Yes. Tomorrow is another day. And a new day brings new hope. You know, I'm thinking of going out to eat. That sounds like an interesting idea, Rhonda. I know the perfect place to eat. Oh really? And where is that place, exactly? Where else? The Indutropolis Buffet, where food is served easily. Oh, Pankry Titus.
The preceding program has been a production of Thunderbirds 501 Enterprises, a division of MKT Communications.